Do you want a graphic solution that doesn't take too much power but still provides dual HD displays? My name is Josh from SemiconductorStore.com and today we're going to show you a product that might save you six to nine months of development time. I'm excited today to have Arnold Estep from Silicon Motion today to talk to us about the SM750, which is an embedded graphics processor. Arnold, welcome to the video. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for having me today. Well, the SM750 is a single chip uh, display controller with built-in frame buffer uh, capable of two displays out. Here's a mini PCIe card from one of our customers that shows a uh, version that provides uh, dual DGA as well as uh, HDMI outputs. And as you can see, uh, most of the chip is just, uh, most of the board is just our chip. Um, not much on the backside except a few components as well. And uh, we have, uh, this board is a customer board, but we also have development boards available that uh, provide multiple display outputs and also the dual video capture capability. So we have a daughter card that plugs in the analog to digital converters for uh, dual video capture as well. So some of our customers use it for uh, video capture and surveillance and entertainment as well as uh, dual display outputs, multiple display outputs. So talk to us about how you're able to handle dual HD displays, but some of the competitors can only handle one. How are you able to handle two? Well, we have a 128-bit internal graphic engine uh, that provides the functionality that we need for driving two displays and also uh, updating the display at a very high performance and still low power. Besides the 128-bit internal engine, uh, graphic engine, we have uh, color space conversion capability uh, and video overlay. So we can do real-time hardware uh, color space conversion with video overlay as well as there's uh, software color space conversion that we have as well. You have a, a couple use cases for us today or some demos. Uh, do you mind showing us the USB module adapter? Yeah, we have here, this is a... Uh, the SM750 with a PCI uh, Express USB 3 bridge, um, and this is a single box here with uh, dual VGA outputs as well as HDMI, and it's connected to uh, the notebook here, and we can uh, easily add uh, external displays to a notebook via USB. And so you see here the uh, second display at high resolution comes up uh, full HD, whereas the uh, uh, we just have standard definition on the notebook here, and then we can uh, start using it uh, for applications as we go along um, right away. So, also we have another um, board that's very similar to this, but adds a uh, USB 3 hub, and mm -hmm. this is used in uh, clients for uh, training education as well as some casino gaming where uh, everything's in the same room. They don't have to worry about security because they know what's connected on the USB cable. It's, it's not broadcast across the network, so um, very secure in a closed room. Yeah, and that's a USB client. So you've shown us the right. dev kit, which is the USB module adapter, the USB client. Now talk to us, and you've also shown us the mini PCIe board. And show us that dual capture board again with the daughter card. Talk to us about that. Uh, this board here uh, takes uh, two analog uh, video inputs and converts it to the digital. And then we have uh, uh, what we call a ZV port, which is a zoom video port that we can scale the video as it comes in and overlay it in the frame buffer anywhere we want. Um, we can use a 16-bit single pixels or two pixels from two cameras at eight bits per pixel. So. Now, what are some of the use cases for this product? Well, on that, uh, we've got one customer that's using it for what uh, in Asia is called a KTV system, like a curl KTV, and we're displaying uh, multiple display outputs, but uh, some customers may not be able to see the singer live in front of the stage. They may not be sitting. They might be sitting in a, in a corner or somewhere, but they can look at the display and they can see the video that's broadcast live in the capture and it brought into our 750. And, and is it true that you have some lottery PCs, whether they're overseas in Asia or here, they're kind of kiosks for point of sale? Right. And that... Um, uh, many dis many processors today and, and PCs have um, at least two displays out, but if you want to add a third or more, uh, four displays, for example, and uh, many uh, lottery and kiosks in uh, uh, Asia we find are using up to four displays, and also in security trading, 
people that you know, want to look at all the numbers and keep a real time update on securities as they trade. So they want to throw this place. So we want to thank you for being on the video today. And those of you that are watching this video, you can learn more about the Silicon Motion SM750 at semiconductorstore.com where we have more videos and data sheets so you can learn all about the product. I'm excited to tell you more about this product and the reason why this is so popular these days is it has a really small footprint and it uses very little power. There's a lot of other features it has, but those seem to be the two that people really, really like. Yes, it has. It can do up to 640 megabytes a second with dual HD displays, and it has a lot of daughter cards and use cases, but if you're looking for something that has a really small footprint and uses minimal power, then this is the place to start. I'm Josh with SemiconductorStore.com. I hope you'll watch our future videos and check out our website to learn more about this product. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon.